so we are seeing different types of caries since last two videos uh, i have already explained you what is pit and fissure caries and smooth surface caries now next moving forward to what is residual caries so what is residual caries caries that remains in a completed cavity preparation so what happens is when we prepared a cavity for restoration if still there is some cavities remains there only so then we will say that is the residual caries so it is usually not acceptable when if we uh, prepared a cavity and some of the caries is present toward the deg because uh, it will lead to secondary caries so we have to remove those residual caries as well and also when we prepared a cavity wall enamel wall so we have to remove all the caries lesion from the wall as well so now you can see in this picture so you can see you can see this is our residual caries means we have prepared the cavity but we have not removed this much area you can see so this is our uh, residual caries and this is non acceptable usually and you can see in this case this is our prepared wall and there is a small amount of caries is residue over there and this is again not acceptable next moving forward to root surface caries so what is root surface caries as the name is suggesting it is going to occur on the root surface so it is usually seen in old age patient so what happened usually there is a gingival recession in old age patient so as the gingival recession will be there then there will be root exposure as the root exposure is there then there will be plaque accumulation and one thing we have to know that root is made up of cementum we all know so root is made up of cementum and this cementum is less mineralized as compared to enamel so here the plaque accumulation will be more here the caries uh, exposure will be more here the caries progression will be more as compared to that are of enamel caries so root surface caries usually progress faster as compared to that enamel caries so initiates at the surface of the mineralized dentin or the cementum have greater organic content why because it has a greater organic content that's why it's progress faster that's why it's demineralized faster usually have a rapid clinical course as compared to enamel caries so you can see this is the typical picture you can see there is a gingival recession as i have already told you in the old age there will be gingival recession because of that this part of root is get exposed and you can see there is the progression of this root caries this root caries so next moving forward to recurrent caries or the secondary caries so why we called it as recurrent anything recurrent means occurring again so here the occurrence of the caries is again over the same lesion which were already infected so secondary caries also the same meaning it is occurring again so occurs at the junction of the restoration and the cavo surface of the enamel so you can see this is our restoration and this is our restoration you can see something like this and we did all this filling we did all this filling by amalgam or uh, by composite and all now you can see this purple area which i am drawing is the area or the gap present between this cavo surface and this restoration cavo surface and the restoration has this area or the gap so what will happen this caries of plaque get accumulated in those areas in those areas the caries or plaque get accumulated so it will lead to progression of secondary caries so this green color structure all you can see these are the secondary caries which is form between these walls of the restoration and this cavo surface angle so it is like this this is our wall of the restoration and this is our cavo surface margin so all this center area has undergone caries progression i hope you are understanding so may extend beneath the restoration and sometimes it is also happen beneath the restoration why in some cases uh, there is like uh, condensation is not proper or something so in that cases uh, the restoration is like this and there is a gap present uh, between the prepared wall and the restoration so in that area also uh, these caries get progress beneath the restoration 
indicate unusual susceptibility to caries attack poor cavity preparation and defective restoration so why it is occurring because of the poor cavity preparation we have not prepared it properly defective restoration we have not properly condensed it or all these things also indicate the presence of micro leakage means there is has this shrinkage of the restorative material has occurred like amalgam shrinkage and because of that there is a gap formation between the restoration and the prepared wall so this is one of the reason as well so you can see here uh, in this picture is indicating that there is a root surface restoration and these are the progression of secondary caries beneath the restoration now next is incipient caries or reversible caries so incipient caries or reversible caries are the type of caries that get reversed back when there is a proper mineralization or when there is a stop of stimulation from the external sources so first evidence of caries activity in enamel so it is the first evidence incipient caries is a initiation of caries if it is left untreated and left unrecognized then it lead to irreversible caries that is our chronic caries clinically as a white opaque region we will see white opaque area of the patches on the enamel surface subsurface demineralization has occurred but no cavitation so here the demineralization process has already begun but there is no cavity formation yet only the surface demineralization is happening because of that there is a white opaque patches is seen so it may take up extrinsic stain and because of that they may appear little bit brownish or uh, or of different color because it takes stains and it may undergo remineralization called as caries reversibility so if we do a proper fluoride treatment or proper oral hygiene then this incipient or reversible caries get reversed back to the normal tooth structure uh, this is called as caries reversibility and consolidation of the early enamel caries so it will occur only in the early enamel caries now let us see you can see this is the proper defining picture of this incipient caries this white patches you can see now if it is left untreated it will going to lead to cavity formation over there so this is the proper picture of incipient caries now next see what is cavitated and the irreversible caries so it is nothing but the sequence of reversible caries or incipient caries if that is left untreated it will lead to cavitated or irreversible caries so the lesion that has advanced into the dentine with broken surface so now here the caries has progressed into the dentine it is no more into the enamel so what will happen there is a cavity formation is seen means teeth will show like this cavity structure is seen this proper cavity formation has seen so now we can say it is an irreversible caries now it cannot be get reversed by any of the thing by, by using fluoride treatment or anything remineralization is not possible in that case because it is progressed into the dentine treatment include cavity preparation and restoration with suitable restorative material so you can see this is the picture here the cavity has already formed so now whatever we do it will not going to get back to normal again so this is the typical picture of this uh irreversible cavitated caries now next moving forward to linear enamel caries so what is linear enamel caries as the name is suggesting it is something linear and it is present in the enamel so how it will going to see so this is our central incisor if you consider then it will be linear like this area of the cavity so it will be on the smooth surface as a linear area it is also called as an odontoclasia so it is a atypical form of dental caries it is a atypical form of dental caries in primary dentition it is usually occur in primary dentition lesion is prominent on the labial surface of maxillary anterior teeth in the region of neonatal zone lesion is crescent shape it is a crescent shape increase caries susceptibility of posterior teeth so you can see this is a typical picture of linear enamel caries now let us see what is odontoclasia so odontoclasia is a variant of linear enamel caries it is a variant of linear enamel caries result in gross destruction of labial surfaces of the incisor teeth 
caused by inherited or the structural defect so in this also the same thing happen it is also occur in children and the same incisor will going to involve but in that case uh, the things will not be like this only the one linear uh, area of destruction will not be going to seen whole area is get involved and it is usually due to inherited conditions so here we have seen today a lots of uh, different type of caries so still some more types of caries is left to be understand so i will make a video for it in next video